Hey Maggie, we gotta get some tools. We gotta get ready for this job down in the bottom. We gotta put the two post hoist up. No, no, I need to load it up first. You gonna come and help me load up? What's that? You just sit there, okay? You just stay there. You stay there, I'll come back to you in a minute. You can be my co-pilot, righto? So we procrastinated all day. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and it's uh, it's hot today. It was hot yesterday too, but it's hot. Oh, maybe he's coming. Maybe she's coming. We'll need to take a few things down the bottom shed to, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll need one of these. We'll, we'll need one of those, don't we? And uh, I reckon we might need, oh, yeah, we'll need that. Oh, if we take that, we really want to take one of them. But with a 3.8 attachment. We need a 3.8. Yeah, let's take. Oh, get off there, get off there. Yeah, so we put off, we put off doing this. Not so put off, we just procrastinated. We've been sitting around in the, in the heat, you know. And just chilling, you know. And, uh. Sometimes it's not bad to do that, but like Puddin says, sitting on the arse won't get your projects done. That's where we're at. That's where we're at now. Feel bad. David Goggins will be chewing the arse out. Alright. Alright, we got that. We got that. I don't know, we got everything there. Do we need that? I've got one of them. I'll take that. I'll take that and that. Alright. Take that, take that. What else do we need? Uh, I need Teflon tape. I need Teflon tape. Uh, might need zip ties. Should get some zip ties. I think I saw some Teflon tape. I need spanners. I think I've got spanners down there though. Get out of here, get out of here. There's my Teflon tape. You still be in there, right? It's in the plumbing box. It's in the plumbing box. Go to there. Oh man. There we go. Pink stuff, yeah, that's alright. So, just learned the other day that there's certain colours. Did you know that, Maggie? Certain colours of this stuff do certain things. Some of them are for pneumatics and some of them are for food grade or oxygen. Uh, some of them are for oil. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I want to take a, a, a torque wrench. I do. I don't, I don't want to take a good one. I just want to take a basic old shitbox torque wrench. I don't even think I need to worry. To worry. I just tighten them up tight. But I think there is a... I think there is a spec. So let's go and chuck a couple of these things on the back, thanks. Let's stop pointing with this screwdriver thing, lever thing. Yeah, that one. That one. That one. Oh, you're scared of pats now, eh? Unsolicited pats. Just say no. Just say no, Maggie. Oh, I might need a shifter. Yeah. Oh, where's that? that cool new ratchet of mine? Oh, I'm going to need a couple of these too. Oh, a couple of those. Might get all of them. Get all of them. Where's that new ratchet? Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I want some of these. Not those, those ones aren't. Oh, I'll, make, I'll make that work, won't I? Uh, where's that new ratchet of mine? Is it here? Yeah, that one. I want that. I want to try it out. I need a couple of... I need a toolbox. What do you need? I don't know. Um, yeah. Alright, I need a toolbox. What's that? Is that a box? 
Is that a box? Okay. Find a bin. In it, parts bin. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that's gonna be handy. <laughs> that's a toolbox. There we go. Alright, oh, there's me. There's me battery charger. I was looking for that the other day. Let's throw that over here. So I remember to charge it up. Okay. Uh, not taking that. I think I'll, oh, I'll take that. Sounds a bit slow. I'm expecting to charge that. Um, do I need anything else? Hmm. Side cutters. Hmm. I'm going to find myself some. Uh... Ooh. Did I do anything with that? No. I'm going to find myself some. Um... Cable ties, and we're good. Okay, hang five. Hey, Max, you got the cable ties. Let's go. Job's right. Hi, everyone. That's what Jordan Peterson said. He says you should incorporate your shadow. Up you go, Max. Ah, uh, you won't get it. It's, it's you know. I don't expect you to get that. Maybe you should get that. So you're not an evil dog unless there's coconuts around. That's really what it is. It's the Lucifer effect. It's the situation. You're around all these coconuts and you feel you've got to destroy them. Yeah, you're a different dog around coconuts. You are. <laughs> yeah. Vicious. Quite a vicious dog. Yeah. No change gear. Thanks. What? Oh. Really? So we're uh Let's see if we can get some stuff organised for tomorrow. I don't think we're going to be sanding them up today. I think we'll get ready. We'll get ready to, to stand them up. Just where they are at this time of day, the sun, the sun flooding in the doorway. It's nice and hot and uh, it doesn't make for good filming too because the, um, the contrast is too much. It's too bright. Too much bright, too much dark. Uh, you can't really see. Uh, on the film, I can see. But it's very bright. And Maggie won't hang around for too long in the heat. She'll want, she'll want to go back and hang around the shade. Maybe. Maybe she's been bored all day and wants to do something exciting. It might happen. Excitement. It might happen. Hopefully I don't walk into it. Um, oh yeah, so we've got a couple of tools. What we might, what we might do is try and make a, a, a cleanup. Try and make a cleanup. Hmm. Okay. So I might sit you guys up there. Yeah. So you watch what I'm doing. I've got. Uh, I'll try. I'll try and keep you. I'll try and keep you well informed. Yeah. Maybe you can see. Uh, I don't know. Maybe around the corner. 
Okay, we'll see how you go. So, bring some tools in. So we've been watching this, uh, we're watching this other fella's video. Uh, repair Geek or something like that. Oh, it's, it's not a bad video. He's got something very similar to this, the asymmetric version. So I was watching a couple of his videos, you know, rather than... I'm avoiding reading the manual. And uh, I do normally read the manuals. I do, I do. Um, just, you know, I've been getting old. And uh, my eyes don't work like they used to. And it just annoys me. And I don't really want to have to wear glasses. And I'm, just, I'm just rebelling against something. I don't know. So, anyway, watch this video is to sort of give me a bit of an idea of what we're doing. There was a couple of bits in the manual he said that were not quite right, uh, as far as, um, as far as being clear. Um, he showed us the screen grab of what he was talking about. He was basically talking about this is where we're at at the moment. I want to lift these up. I want to stand up. I want to get the trailer out. I want to get a bit of space. But one of the things before you do that, standing them up, is you slide these lift parts up and you place in, uh, you hook in the cable that would normally come down from here and run over to the other side. You hook in the cable and you also put them to plumb in the hoses that run up to about here somewhere. There's a hole somewhere. And so that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's an idea anyway. Um, so you, yeah, the, the whole idea is to take Show you. So you got a few, a few little saddles here where you can run some hoses. Um, a little hole there through the through there, which that that runs the. Uh, I think the T fitting goes out to the um, That might have been a mistake he made. I think he ran his pipes out of there, whereas they should actually run out of here. That one, he didn't really say, but that one there being insulated is probably for the electrics, for the, um, the cable that runs up to the limit switch. I'll have a look at the, the book there because he, he was a little bit unclear in his video. Oh, ah, shit. He just twisted my ankle on that. It's all right. I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, anyway, so he's done a few videos. I've only sort of seen up to the bit where he stood it up and everything. He's, he's, he's done it slightly different to the manual. Um, and I can sort of see why and I'm sort of, I'm just juggling what's the right information here and stuff like that. So, um, but it, it gives a good overview of what, what we're looking to do anyway. So, installing the posts. Oops, I did, I did get a bit of a tweak on that ankle. Mainly in the foot bone. The ankle is connected to the foot bone. Everyone should know that by now. You know, that's the whole purpose of nursery rhymes is to learn shit, right? Um, I'm surprised the whole left wing hasn't started making up nursery rhymes to try and force their agenda. Or maybe that's what they've been doing in the schools all this time with the climate and stuff. I don't know. It's not a political challenge. No, no. No, it's really not. So, there should be something here telling you what to do. Manage the pair you. You might be right. You might be right. About uh, 
bit of being a little bit unclear. Yeah. I mean, I haven't got my glasses on, so, you know, and I'm not reading it. So, I'm just looking for the pictures. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to get a bit of a, a layout today. Get some of this packaging stuff away. So I'll look. extension I do believe you need to extend it if you have the wide configuration to get the pipes over to where they need to be type 6 length 22 type 6 I wonder if that means AN fittings AN6 I don't know what's this going to be a JIC or an AN what are, what are we what's in here yeah could be a JIC, I don't know, they're all different angles, all these hydraulic fittings, so you gotta make sure you get the right stuff. This is electrical, all right, so that can go down there. So we've got a long one, a short one, one with an angle. Oh, they're all got angles, they're all got right angles. These are all short ones. This is a type 10, all right, so we'll leave that, one that separate. We don't want to go there at the top, it's no drama. Uh, that'll go to the bottom of a fitting. Yeah, so I would say the key fitting is going to go into that. Onto that. We'll see. Um, we'll, we'll work that out in a minute. That one will come from the bottom of the. Uh, by the way, this, this one here is going over here. It's going to have the power unit on it because it's got the stickers. All right, so that one's going over here. So that's the one that's going to have most of the hydraulics on. So we're going to be building this one up first. Um, now, this says type 10 length 10076. So, 10, length, 10076. So, because this is an asymmetrical one, it's a symmetrical one, this should be all uh, the same. So we don't have to, like he did in his video, have to work out which one goes where. Right. Now this one here has got some fittings. That's what I'm going to want. Some stuff here, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need this up here for this. This hot eight. I don't tell you, it's 35 degrees. In the shade, real hot. In the shade. I got here a, uh, that's a limit switch. Limit switch. All right. Go there next to the electrical stuff. Um, we got some. I don't know what they call truck adapters or whatever. The stand-up. Put all those down here so they can't fall over. Yeah. 
I'm not going to do this, I'm going to throw this out, I'm not going to... <coughs> not breeding pussies here. Safety bullshit. This rubber thing, uh, that's probably an amount for here, I'd say. And, uh... Yeah, there's a nice couple of things here, so that'll be um, through the limit switch thing. I don't know what that does. Yeah, yeah I don't know. What. I haven't got to that part of the video yet. I haven't really read the instructions. Alright, so we do have that there. I'll get this out of the way. I'll probably. Uh, safety glasses, what am I talking about? Safety first, you know. Um, whenever I cut my cable ties, I always cut them so that I can reuse them. I mean, I'll, I'll, don't waste them. You remember life before cable ties? It's a different world. It's a different world. So, is there anything else in here? There's nothing else in here. Alright. So, let me see. Let me see. That's the thing to do. Yes, it is. You push that up there. And apparently there's some little... How would I know? How would I even know? Um, we didn't bring a torch. I meant to. Um, this pulley, you take out a little bit there and you, yeah, so you bring the cable down from above, which way do you go around though? I want to see, I want to know. A mirror, have I got a mirror? I could have, I haven't got a torch, so I don't know how much what it's going to do to me. Alright. Ninety-six degrees. I'm dripping. I can't imagine being in here a couple of hours earlier. Ah, uh, let's see what the photo says. Oh, well, it just looks like yeah. That's, yeah it does. That is the train coming. Yeah, I can't see shit in there. What can I see? Oh yeah, way up there. So that. On that side, can you see that? Yeah, not real well, they're just on that side, yeah. Something there, right up the top. Yeah, 
So, I reckon you can get that from the top one. I know he's talking about. Let me see how the, how the destruction say you're supposed to do it. I'm not bagging them, I just don't quite understand. That's fair enough, he didn't understand what he was doing too, you know? he didn't. He got it wrong. He said so. Make it hard to follow some things when if someone gets it wrong. This one, so it comes from the inside. Oh, it's different. Both are different. Oh, both are the same. They're not inverted. Symmetrical. So that goes from there down and up. All right. Lock plate. Inside lift head. How do you do that? Lock plate. So I need a bit of a. How do you do that lock plate? What are they talking about? Arm restraint pin? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, so... So look inside the lift you just made. From the bottom, looking towards the top, it looks something like the following. Yeah, okay. Well, so you hook, you hook it in, you hook it in, that bit that I showed you on the camera, you hook it in and you sort of, this is saying looking from the bottom, which is what that shot is. So, yeah, bottom is on the other side of the lock plate. So, okay, push the button end up through the bottom of the lift head towards the lock plate. Put the button end of the equalizing cable into the slot in the lock plate. Yeah. It can be difficult to get it into the slot. It may be hard to reach. Yeah, it doesn't look that hard. If you're having problems getting the button end into the slot, you might want to try pushing the button past the lock plate and once the cable was in the slot, pull the other end of the cable. Try to keep. Uh, what did it look like on that photo? Oh, what's happening here? What would, how does that stay in there? You know what I mean? How does that even, is there some, is there some little, just fall out by gravity. Hmm? Why is that going to stay there? There must be some way of holding it in. Uh, if you're having the... Uh, 
half like flat cut. Oh, there's two bits here, two bits. That's. But, uh, why two? I think they need a bit of fidget. I think. Don't you think? They need a bit of fidget. Threaded end, button end. Well, ah, there's two. So why? You've got a slot. It's upside down like that. You can put this up into it. What's going to hold it there? You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Am I right? Come on. The advertisements on these magnifying apps. Get off, get out of there. Get out of there. I don't want ads. Get out of there. How do I do this now? Uh, I'm gonna have to get my head in there. Oh, come on. Photo, yeah, it is. Do it again, do it again, sunshine. Don't give up, don't give up on oh, little sunshine. Well, I'm going to rust this thing out prematurely. Oh. So, I don't know. Don't give up. If first you don't exceed. So I do believe. I do believe. That's the that's the bit that we're looking at down down that hole. I don't know if you can see that that well. And uh, the hole on the other side of it is what you're going to tie this thing back into. Yeah. How will it stay there? How? How? How will it stay there? Lock plate inside lift head. Lock plate inside lift head. That must be the lift head. Okay, I'm gonna try and put my hands down there again, see if I can feel what we've got going on. Wouldn't want to fall off here or break my arm. So it's got this this ridge thing just inside there, which should stop it coming out. Uh, it's hard to explain. I'll draw a picture later. I'll draw a picture. Okay, so that's I can see how that can work. Alright. So let's do that. Let's get this cable in. Um, Something. So we're going to want to go down and around. 
Cable ties, cabal ties. Yeah. Right, one more. One more. Good. I'm going to run that cable down inside that somehow. I'll try and work out what we're doing. I'm going to take off this. Uh... See this? Yeah. I'm make some noise. Just excuse me a minute. Washer. Washer. Why do they call them washers? I think the nanny has got a lot to a lot to explain, you know, really. Looks like it's got a little tiny bit of grease on that. It's got a bronze bush. Okay. Probably got oil. Alright, so I'm gonna bring this cable up through here. Alright, I'm See what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something uh, semi proper. Pretty easy to, pretty easy to break 10 mil. <laughs> well, 6 mil. 6 mil bolts. Uh, let me just. First time I've used this, so why not, you know? Poke this thing here. Up. Up there. Oh, I've got to make sure I'm not pulling on the wrong side of the. This thing is getting out. There we go. How far away is this cable? Can you can you guys see it? So what am I? Yeah. Just just give me a quick report. What are we looking for? Uh, See about it. Okay. Oh yeah, can sort of see it down there now, eh? So right. As a challenge. As a challenge. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just 
to the top side of the one. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna lose you in there. So. I'm gonna lose you in here. I'm gonna lose you. I know. Oh, can I get this down here and do this at the same time? No. What about? What about? What about now? I don't know. Um, so you can see it in there, right? You might be able to see better up onto the thing up there. Uh, I'm going to try and hook that thing in there. Probably best to look for that one. And doing this is the, the, the look on your face, the certain looks that that people get when they're tightening bolts up or trying to fit something in a hole uh, or just oh, yeah, it feels like that's it let me see all right so let me try and show you what i've just done there all by feel, all by feel. can you see that that's sort of how it sits up there, you know, it probably could easily pop out, so. Uh, uh, it's all there. It's trying, to, it's trying to switch screens on me, I must have touched something. So, um, yeah, that's that, that's what we're that's what we're trying to achieve. So I've pulled that back up, oh, that was a good guess, how much cable to have stored up there. So, now, now I believe, um, I believe we have to get yeah there's a there's a fitting so it has to come back down here oh that feels like it's a slotted one uh, the, the video says there was a hex sort of plastic cap type of deal um, this one is showing as being a uh, uh, slotted one, so I might just stick you on there for a second. I've got to, um, I've got to get rid of this, this, this uh, cardboardy stuff. Not cardboard. Okay, it gives me access there once I slide this unit here back down. Now I'm going to put. I'm going to keep tension on that, that bung at the other end there when I pull this back down. The reason I want to do that is um, it so it doesn't pop out, you know, because it just sort of sits in there. I've been hoping you'd say that you'd still find a way into my heart, baby blue. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo.